everyone. Okay. It is May 28th. It's just a little over two weeks since the last video. So I just wanted to show you with, I just washed my hair because I've been working on an experiment. That's the hack. I'm hoping we'll see. Um, okay. So this is freshly washed hair two weeks in. Remember I just did the roots after she highlighted my hair on the top, the crown and was letting the sides grow out. So my sides are a little further ahead. And then I was gonna grow out like a white, do an experiment here, and then I just said, forget it, we're stopping. So anyway, so this is where we're at with wet hair. I just put in my curling product. I'm gonna go dry my hair and show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you my hack. So, um, We'll see though, as it grows out, I'm a little concerned that it's gonna look dusty. We'll see. I have some ideas, um, but uh, so far so good. I will say though, I am going through some mental issues, even though I um, was gonna go gray or whatever, my whites of my hairs were showing up since I was 26, 27. Um, and I started coloring immediately because I used to do commercials and things like that. And um, even though I wanted so badly for it to grow in, I let myself be pushed into, you know, the whole thing, the youth culture, keeping your hair colored. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm sweating. I'm in Florida. So yeah, this is the part, I think this is the make or break. Oh, the part of me thinks that's kind of cool. You have to wear makeup. Uh, if I don't have makeup on, I definitely am having some, cause it's just this, this is just blands out your face. Um, what I have seen is uh, when there's this guy who you pay $3,000 to do the whole, he matches, you grow your hair out four inches and then he matches it and everybody looks horrible with the four inches of growth out. And then when it goes all white, they look gorgeous. So, um, just have to push through, but um, we'll see if this, I'll show you the little hacky hack I'm gonna do. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we are taking root touch up to the next level. So I got some Tresemme dark brown. I used to use the L'Oreal and I got dark blonde too, cause this is basically dark blonde but I want to phase out of the dark blonde. I ordered some light brown and dark brown and we're going to play with that. But, okay, so I'll show you. Let's start with the light blonde. And the plan is, let's see if you could do this. Uh, okay, that might as well, let's see. We usually do this in the mirror. So this is, this is an interesting challenge. Hold on. This is my mirror. I want you to see it real quick. So yes, you're gonna go through a lot of this. Like I have, here's what started this. I have a wedding to go to. My niece's wedding. It's not till the end of June. Well, I could have gotten so much growth done by then I thought, and for one wedding, I'm gonna to just kind of play around. For one wedding, I'm gonna like wait to do this. So I thought, well, how? I looked into doing wigs. And then I did the math. Okay, if I go, the plan was to bleach out, we talked about this earlier. The plan was to bleach out my hair as we go along. And uh, so what's that like three times a quarter or whatever, one time, one a quarter, which would be four times during the year, um, lighten my hair, which was a couple hundred bucks a pop. So then, yeah. And then in between, even if I used, um, I was coloring at home with 10 bucks each time, but after two weeks, it doesn't even matter. You might as well have not even paid the money because you're not fooling anybody. So these little suckers are like $10 a piece. And I've done this many, many times. They're pretty full. <laughs> I 
Anyway, they're pretty full. So I figure we're going to, I'm going to keep track of how much I spend on these cans and compare it to how much I would have spent going to the hairdresser. So anyway, I think that looks pretty good. And if I flip my hair, I'm a hair flipper. Of course you can get under here. If you're going to put your hair up in a ponytail, like here, okay, I'm going, oh, look, ponytail. Pick color. Let's just pull that right in. And then you know your hair's not moving. And yeah, you get overspray. It's not that bad. And it just wipes off. Not a big deal. And of course, you gotta wash your hands. So let's see. How's that look? And I even don't mind a little bit of it showing that my hair is going out, but for the sake of the experiment, use it all. So, all right. So this is May 28th, however far. Ooh, little spot. And just play with it. So what? Fill it in. What do you think about how much you would have spent and time you would have spent at the hairdresser? Who cares? Even a whole bottle for a special event. Big deal. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good. So I'll get back with you, I guess. Let's do two weeks. I'll give it another two weeks and see how far. And then there's another hack to go in the opposite direction to kind of embrace the gray. And um, we'll try that too, but I've been trying it in the product I was using. I don't like the smell and it looks costumey. It reminds me of when I dressed up one of my daughters as an old lady for Halloween. When, you know, you put the glasses on, it was awful. Okay, so there we go. I would feel totally comfortable going to a wedding. Nobody, I don't think anybody would know that I have about three inches of growth. And like I said, you just keep flipping it around. Oh, look. Oh, I can still see some. Oh, no big deal. Voila. So what? And so what, I have to wash my hair now, again. Big deal. It's better than going to a salon and sitting in a chair for eight hours and walking out what, $300 poorer at least? I know some of y'all spend a lot more than that. Okay, see you on the next one.